presumably then, Professor, most clusters at some stage in their life will go through a time where their where their main sequence goes through this sweet spot. Oh yes, so you know because the way this, the way this works is when you have a very young cluster, you end up with a, a main sequence which goes up to very bright stars, and then over time, the things at the bright end die off, and eventually it will end up back down here again. But obviously, when it was born, almost everything will have a main sequence which cuts through this region. So there will be these delta scuti stars. There are also, because this, this region cuts up here, there are other types of variable star. So one of the most famous types of variable star in astronomy is a thing called a Cepheid variable, um, which is actually used because there is a nice, neat relationship between the period of these pulsations in Cepheid stars and how bright they are. We can actually use the pulsations to figure out the intrinsic luminosity of the star. And then when you measure how bright it appears to be, you can use that to figure out how far away the star is. So they're very, you know, they're the things which really have fundamentally told us how big the universe is. They also lie on this sort of sway through here. They're higher up, they're up here somewhere, but they're the same. The, the oscillations are the same kind of oscillations in Cepheid variable stars too. This little sway, this sort of sweet spot full of variable stars, has it got a name? It sounds really important. It's called the Hertzsprung Gap, and the reason why it's called the Hertzsprung Gap is because actually stars in this region are somewhat unstable, which means that they don't hang around there for very long. So if you just plot where stars are in this Hertzsprung-Russell diagram, you actually find that there's a, although there are some stars in this Hertzsprung gap, they tend to be few and far between um, because stars don't hang around in the Hertzsprung gap very long. Um, but those that are in the Hertzsprung gap that we kind of catch in there are in this unstable phase where they're oscillating around.